welcome back to another grocery haul here on my channel thanks for watching just wanted to mention again this week that i will be recording a grocery q a video pretty soon so if you have any questions for me about how to save money on groceries whether they are general or specific you can leave them in the comments below or you can tweet them to me at home for comfort and i will be sure to answer them in my next video okay so here's what i got this week at ingles and i also ran to aldi for produce I spent a total of $83 for the week, which is a little bit over my weekly budget, but I'm um, still under budget for the month so far, so I'm good to go. Um, this is like breakfast week. I had a ton of breakfast items, um, and I will show you why in just a moment. Milk was $1.99. Then the Ingalls Advantage deal for the week was the Nutrigrain bars. They were two for four, but you had to buy two, which is fine. So that's a really good deal for that name brand. Then I got two pounds of bacon or two packages of 12 ounces. Um, this is Oscar Mayer bacon and it was $3.49, which is a great deal. So I grabbed those up. Then there was a promotion from Quaker where if you bought five specific products, you got $3 off your total. So I got cinnamon, sliced cereal, grits, um, syrup, and then two boxes of the Quaker granola bars, which are much better than the brand from um, Aldi. I got all those and they were each about a dollar ninety anywhere from a dollar forty to a dollar ninety which is a good deal for Quaker so that was exciting and then I got orange juice for two thirty three and because I purchased this let me show you down here I got this Catalina coupon that printed um, at the register sorry for my shadow for a dollar fifty off the same orange juice so of course I couldn't use that coupon on this purchase because it came out after I'd already paid which is totally fine but I could have turned right around in the store and used that coupon and this would have made the juice less let's see it would have made it like a dollar 75 which is awesome for name brand orange juice so and then Aunt Jemima breakfast items were buy one get one free so I got those for 150 each um, I was able to get these five minute fries for a dollar after coupon butter that's standard um, these chips were $1.67, which is a great deal. Um, pasta sauce was a dollar after my coupon. Um, egg noodles were on sale. Chicken sausage was $3. Um, then I got some things for our lunches. Pizzas were uh, $3.33 each. The soups were $0.75 cents each, which is great. I um, mean, that each of those would be two lunches for me, so that's great. And then this little spaghetti thing was a dollar. Not an awesome deal, but my husband likes those for lunches, so get those for him sorry that was in the way um, lunch meat markdown hot dog standard my um, dish soap came open in the bag and got all over the dressing that's why it's on a paper towel I've never tried the Ingles um, dish soap before but it was 10 for 10 so we'll give it a try and then I got two bottles of our favorite salad dressing for $1.50 after coupon then we have all the carbs bread hot dog buns I actually bought a beef roast which I haven't done in at least a year and a half because it's been so expensive but this bone-in chuck roast was $2.98 a pound so I got a big one of these I'm gonna kind of cut it in half freeze half of it and then we'll have the other half maybe this week I'm not sure so that's what I got at Ingalls um, this week and then I stopped at Aldi um, actually first because I wanted to get produce there so I spent $14 for all this produce that you see here two bags of salad three pounds of mandarins three pounds of gala apples um, this is pretty much the end of apple season. They're gonna, the prices are only gonna go up from now on. So I wanted to go ahead and get some of those um, until the fall. Then strawberries were a dollar twenty-eight. All these the best place to get berries, tomatoes and cucumbers. So this is what I got this week for our haul. Lots of breakfast food, but that's all right. It will, it'll keep. So don't forget to leave me your grocery questions in the comments below, and I will see you again next week.